New calls for the U.S. State Department to turn over key diplomatic cables from the days leading up to the deadly attack on our consulate in Libya, including communications from Ambassador Stevens, who reportedly expressed concern about deteriorating security in Benghazi. Senator Bob Corker is one of the lawmakers who does not want to wait for the results of an internal investigation, wants to see those cables right away. He is our guest now. Uh, Senator, have you received a response from the State Department yet? Uh, we have not. Senator Isaacs and I, two days ago, sent the, uh, the letter. Obviously, the cables are easy to come forward, and we hope that will happen very soon. But this has turned into something, John, nothing short of Benghazi Gate. Uh, I wish you had seen the briefing uh, that took place. It was the most senseless, worthless briefing that I've ever attended. And I, at this juncture, we've had four Americans that have been killed. One was a widely known, highly respected individual. Uh, the media uh, knows more about what has happened than we do, and we want answers. I think, you know, Senator DeMint and I introduced a bill two weeks ago to get to the bottom of this. Uh, it was blocked. I will say that this has now turned into a very bipartisan concern. It's my understanding today that all members of the Foreign Relations Com Committee, both Democrats and Republicans, are asking the administration for answers. So this is now something that certainly could never be colored as partisan. These are concerned senators and House members who want to see, want to know what's happened. And for some reason, uh, this administration is not coming forth. I, I want to say one other thing. Secretary Clinton, while there have been political differences, no question, one of the things that I think most people have appreciated about her has been her transparency. And something is wrong here. This is not the way this uh, this is something is is up here in that uh, we are not getting the just the basic information that I think most Americans would want us to have. You said that in some ways the media seems to know more about what's going on here than the government. We know that uh, CNN had a reporter producer who found the ambassador's diary and made elements of that public and Ambassador Stevens reportedly in his private diaries according to CNN was expressing concerns over his safety. One of the reasons you want these cables is because you want to find out whether he expressed those concerns to his superiors at state. That's exactly right. Uh, that's the purpose behind uh, Senator Isaacson and my request. That's something that ought to be easily forthcoming. Uh, you know, John, we sit in all kinds of classified and secure briefings. Uh, we have access to all kinds of information constantly that affect uh, our country in big ways. When four Americans have been killed uh, and we cannot even find out uh, what the communications were between that person uh, and, our, and the State Department here in, or in Washington, uh, something's wrong. And I really do think that as I've watched the response from this administration, uh, there has to be something that they're trying to hide or cover up. And uh, again, we just want answers. And again, as I mentioned, uh, both Democrats and Republicans want answers to what has happened. Is that why, well, you're not, are you suspicious, I guess, is the, is the question of the, the I, I insistence. I am. I, I, I'm insistence, very suspicious. Look, I'm, that this uh, was I'm on a the Foreign Relations Committee. I, 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 I've worked with this administration. I have become very suspicious, and it's, this is just not the norm. This is way out of the norm, what is happening in this case, and that's why, to me, the window has closed. Uh, I, I think, you know, the responses have been, uh, been you know, been varying, varying degrees of what's happened. We, do, we have not been told clearly what has happened, and I think the window is closed. And now, you know, this is turning into something not short of Benghazi Gate. I mean, what's going on here? Why are we not being told what has happened to these four Americans? Yeah, we're, we're three weeks into it now and still don't have FBI agents on the ground to investigate the embassy or the consulate, as I understand it. We hope you get some answers to your letter. Senator Bob Corker of Tennessee, thanks for joining us today. Thank you.